Hi there, it's Nicole for Simon Says Stamp, and today I have a card showcasing the May 2016 card kit, and I've used the great cardstock, stamps, and pattern paper and sequins from the kit for my card today. In fact, the only extra things are a couple of dies and a little bit of ribbon. To start, I'm gonna take some of the white cardstock from the kit. This is just a little bit left over from my previous card. And I'm gonna use a stitched rectangle and stitched circle die to die cut a little frame here. And it's gonna be slightly offset. This is gonna be a landscape style card. And I'm gonna create my little scene inside of that little cutout. I'm gonna go ahead and set my rectangle aside grab some of the light blue cardstock from the kit and die cut the circle again. This is gonna be the little inside piece or the sky back behind the sunshine and cloud I'm gonna stamp and color. So that's all the die cutting I'm gonna require for this card. Next, I'm gonna take some of the Lawn Fawn plaid paper included in the kit and trim it down to a standard A2 size panel, which is five and a half inches by four and a quarter inches. And then I'm gonna take some of the green cardstock from the kit, and I'm gonna trim just a little uh, border or mat for that white framed panel so that it really stands out. Because I think with that white border on the pattern paper, it really kind of gets lost. So that green is gonna help separate. And I didn't have a die that was small enough really to fit around this. So I am just cutting it about an eighth of an inch bigger on all four sides there. And you can see that really pops that whole scene off of that pattern paper. Next, I'm gonna stamp the sunshine and the cloud from the stamp set included in the kit. I am stamping these on some Nina Solar White cardstock using the Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink. I'm gonna stamp the Thought Bubble and one of the greetings from the stamp set inside of that as, as well while I have that out. Then I'm gonna color in my images with some Copic markers. I'm gonna start with my Sunshine and color that in with some shades of yellow. I'm using about three colors here. My base color is Y11, my darkest color is Y19, and then my mid-tone color is Y08. So I laid down my light color, kind of placed some of the darkest color in places, blended out a bit of that dark color with my mid-tone, and then I'm gonna go back in with my lightest color and blend it all out. For the cheeks on the sunshine, I'm gonna use a little bit of R00. And then I did color in the cloud, but I don't really like how it turned out, so I'm gonna go ahead and color that again here in a second. I am fussy cutting all of my images here. So just taking my scissors and cutting right along the black line. I already cut out the thought bubble. I'm gonna cut out the sunshine. It was actually pretty easy to cut because we were just kind of creating little notches here and then taking those away. I went ahead and stamped the cloud again, colored in the cheeks with a little R00, and then very lightly, only around the edges, I'm coloring in with a little BG10, adding just a little BG11 in a few places, blending that out again with the BG10, and then I'm gonna just blend that line out a little bit with the colorless blender to give it a very light look, so the, only the edges have that tint of blue to them. I did add some Sakura Black gel pen to the eyes on the sunshine and cloud. And I'm gonna go ahead and place some foam adhesive on the back of my frame panel. And I'm just kind of piecing this all together. I want to make sure that my panel sticks up nicely and doesn't bow anywhere. So I do tend to kind of add quite a bit of this foam adhesive all the way around. Once I have that all in place, again, I'm just trimming it down from my roll of adhesive here. I'm gonna peel off the backing on all of this and then adhere it to my green mat. So I'll just have to peel up all of this. Once I have 
my mat or frame adhered to the mat, I'm going to adhere my blue sky circle inside of the cutout. Make sure I get that evenly adhered so it has equal amount of space on all four sides. I'm going to take my Permatech adhesive, place that in the center, and go ahead and replace that light blue sky circle. And then I can adhere my sunshine and the clouds, or the cloud. Again, I'm gonna use a nice strong adhesive for both of these pieces. They're pretty big, so the tape runner works fine. I'm gonna make sure some one of the little sun rays is popped up outside of the circle frame, and that one of the edges of the cloud is tucked underneath the edge. I'm gonna attach my thought bubble with some foam adhesive. Again, that just gives it a little added dimension and adds some interest to the card design. Next, I am going to wrap a little ribbon around the right side of my card. Because I'm only going to wrap it around that panel that I've matted, I'll go ahead and attach my pattern paper directly to a card base, and it's just slightly bigger than my card base, so I'm going to take my scissors and trim a little bit of that edge off real quick. And then go ahead and take some blue silk ribbon to wrap around that right edge. So I'm going to tuck that under one side, wrap the ribbon around a couple of times, and then I'll simply tie it on the in a bow on the front of the card. So I'm going to tuck that under both of those strands. It'll hold both of those together nicely. I'm going to kind of hold it down in the middle there. I really like silk ribbon to use on my cards as opposed to other kinds of ribbon because it lays so flat. And this tiny ribbon creates a really small knot. It's not going to add a ton of bulk to your cards. That's kind of important when you're sending cards through the mail. You definitely don't want to add a lot of bulk. It's harder to mail and they can sometimes get damaged. Then I'll go ahead and use my tape runner again. That's going to secure my ribbon to the back of the panel, plus I can attach this to my card base so I have that great patterned background. And I'm going to finish with a scattering of sequins. These are included in the card kit, and I'm attaching these with some bling glue dots. Once I have those sequins all in place, my card is all finished. Thanks for watching this video showcasing the Simon Says Stamp May 2016 card kit. The supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here are a couple more videos showcasing Simon Says Stamp products you might be interested in. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.